Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome back to another dishcloth series video. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this grit stitch dishcloth. This is a beautiful stitch and I can't wait to share it with you. It's basically just made using a single crochet and a double crochet. And I have my finished dishcloth right here. And I just used some leftover yarn up. So I have this tan color here, this cream color. And I have more of like this teal or aqua color. And I did the teal border. So I'm going to show you how to do an example of this stitch. And hopefully you enjoy this and you want to give this a try just as I did with this dishcloth. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need a size H 5mm crochet hook. As always, I'm using my Clover More. And then you're going to need one skein of cotton yarn. I'm going to be using I Love This Cotton. And the color I'm using is Aqua. You can use any cotton yarn you want, just make sure it's 100% cotton. As always, you could use these as face wash rags as well. You don't have to just use them in the kitchen. You can use them as a face cloth for the bathroom. So for the grit stitch, you're going to need to make a chain of 2 plus 1. So that means you're going to make any multiple of 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 2. And then once you're satisfied with your length, or with your width, you're going to add on one more chain. So for my tutorial for the dishcloth, I made a chain of 35 and first you're going to do a slip knot. So I'm just going to do a shortened version of this just so you can see how the stitch is made up. So again, for the original pattern, I made 35 chains and that was a chain, a multiple of two plus one. And I'm going to make a chain of, let's see, let's do 15. So to make a chain, you're gonna do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So then once you have your chain or your multiple of 2 plus 1, you're going to make a double crochet in the third chain from your hook and you're going to have the two skip chains count as your first single crochet. So the loop on your hook right here does not count and you're going to count three chains from your hook. So one, two, and three. And let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Okay. So you're gonna count three chains from your hook. So one, two, and three. And in that third chain, you're gonna do a double crochet. So to make a double crochet, you're gonna do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Okay? Then you're going to skip the next chain and you're going to work one single crochet and one double crochet into the next chain. So skip that next chain. So you worked in this one right here. So you're going to skip this one and then in the following chain after that you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So to make a single crochet you're going to insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then you have two loops remaining. Then you're going to do yarn over, pull through both loops. And then in that same chain you're going to make a double crochet. So again yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way down. 
So you're going to again skip your next chain. The following one you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in that same chain. Skip the next chain and the following one after that you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the chain after that and in the one after that you're going to do the same thing, a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next chain and in the chain after that you're going to do single crochet and a double crochet. Then you're going to have, when you come to the end, you're going to have two chains left. So you're going to skip one chain and in that very last chain you're going to make a single crochet. So then the end result of this is a nice textured stitch. And it's pretty much the same on both sides. So that's the grit stitch. So then to move on to row two, you're just going to count, you're just going to make a chain one. And this chain one is actually going to count as your single crochet. So chain one and turn. And remember that chain one counts as your single crochet. And you're going to work one double crochet into the very first stitch. So basically that single crochet that you just made, you're going to make a double crochet right in that stitch. Okay, then you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to work a single crochet and a double crochet. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be skipping that double crochet from the previous row and you're going to be working into the single crochet from the previous row. So skip the next stitch right here and in that following stitch you're going to make a single crochet. Oops. And a double crochet. Okay, and then you're going to repeat this all the way down until you have two stitches and then you're going to work one single crochet into the top of the turning chain. So again, you're going to skip the next stitch which is that double crochet and in that single crochet you're going to single crochet and double crochet. Skip the next stitch and in that very next one you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Let me just get some more yarn here. Okay, skip the next one and in the one after that you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that single crochet and double crochet. And then when you get to the end you're going to skip this stitch right here and then you're going to make a single crochet in the top of that turning chain. So this is what your stitch is going to look like and you basically want to repeat rows you want to repeat row two until your desired length. My dishcloth ended up being about 10 inches um, but you can certainly make it bigger um, or taller if you like so it's really up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few more rows just so you can see what that stitch looks like a little bit more and then we will continue on to the border of this dishcloth. Okay. So I have my little swatch right here 
and this is what the textured stitch looks like, the grit stitch. So as so we can see from my dishcloths pattern, you have this border. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have this border and you can either use the same color border of your dishcloth. So say you made this all in this cream color, you can go on and make the border as a cream. Um, you can change it up if you want to use two colors like I did. The possibilities are really up to you. You can make this in any color that you like. But for the border, I just made a simple single crochet border. So let's go back to my swatch. So say that I'm done with my dishcloth and I am happy with my size. So I'm just going to choose to use the same color for my border that I did for the actual dishcloth itself. So in order to make the single crochet border, you're just going to chain one and you're going to turn and then you're simply going to make one single crochet in each stitch around and when you get to the corner you're going to make three stitches in the corner so just single crochet all the way across the top of your dishcloth now you could choose to use any border that you want or if you choose to not use a border you could do that as well again the possibilities are really up to you you can make this your own you can make it a variegated color you can make it a solid color you can make a bunch of stripes I think this is a great pattern to use up those scrap yarns like I did I have a lot of cotton yarn that I would like to use up so I'm just trying to make different dishcloths using those colors that I have so this is the first corner that you're coming up to so you're going to make three single crochets all in that corner and the reason for this is you really want your corner to have a rounded corner so if you do three stitches in one then it would really help with that now when you move down to the side of your dishcloth you want to make your stitches as even as possible you don't have to have any set number you just want to make them as even as possible if you add too many stitches then your work is going to curl up a little bit and if you add too few stitches then it's just not going to lie flat so you want to kind of just eyeball it a little bit and kind of just play around with the sides and see what works best as far as the spacing of them Okay, then you're at your corner again. So remember, you're going to do three single crochets in that corner. Two and three. Let me get some more yarn here. Okay, so then when you're going along the bottom, you're going to, again, just kind of space it as even as possible. So I'm going to go right here, which is that skip chain. And then I'm going to go right here where you did your work. So just make a single crochet in that skip chain and a single crochet in that chain where you did all of that single crochet and double crochet work. And that should help keep things balanced. So go ahead and continue that and I will show you how to end the row or end the round once you get to the very beginning of your border again. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end. I have one more stitch left. So I'm going to make a single crochet and then this is the corner where you just started right here. So you're going to do two more single crochets because remember at the very beginning you just did one so you're going to do two more single crochets to make that three and then you're going to find that first single crochet that you made and you're just going to slip stitch everything together and then that way your dishcloth is closed up 
and then you're just going to weave in your ends and that is what your dishcloth will look like. So again, let's look at the dishcloth itself. And you have all that wonderful textured stitching to it. I love I really do love textured stitches, which is probably why I gravitate towards those types of stitches more so than just the traditional single crochet or half double crochet. But this is what the grit stitch looks like, and then this is what the dishcloth itself looks like. Again, there's lots of possibilities. You can make it in a single solid color. You can make it multiple colors like I did with the stripe. You can make it in a variegated color. The possibilities and the ideas are really up to you of what you want to do. So again, this is how to make the grit stitch dishcloth. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make this beautiful textured stitch. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.